She's an Indianapolis comedian, MC, and character actor. You've seen her on Cincinnati Brouhaha, Yuck Fest, Limestone Comedy Festival, and on the Vice TV series Hunters. And you can see her this Friday at Five's Tap House in Anderson. But before that, she's appearing right here on All Indiana. She's here with us, Gwen Sunkel. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to be here. Now, I was told this was Boxing Day. When do I get to punch a traffic reporter? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you, she thought we were in the UK, everybody, because that, yes, in the UK, it is indeed Boxing Day. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I've been so, trading all year. So what can fans expect at your upcoming show? Well, we have an exciting night of comedy. Um, I'll be joined by comedians Shannon Rostin and Jetta V at Five Tap House. It's going to be a lot of fun. They're going to have all your favorite alcoholic beverages there. They're going to have Egg Bog. They're going to have um, Gin and Toxic. Uh, they're going to have a Wispy Soda. Just anything you could want, they're going to have there. And then we've got to, you know, I'll be telling all of my funniest jokes. I've been practicing all year, so this is literally the funniest I'll be in 2022 I on, love it. on Friday. <laughs> so I, I am curious, for, for comedians, you, they gain a lot of inspiration from a lot of different places. Where do you get your inspiration for your jokes? Oh, I get a lot of inspiration just from walking around, looking at people, and um, just thinking, gosh, they're awfully dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully she's not thinking that right now. I, no. I, see, I think she definitely is. I mean, she was already making jokes about where I'm from. I'm from Las Vegas, so it's, yeah. <laughs> Born on the top of Caesar's Palace. That's it. <laughs> so, No More Tears is your recorded comedy album. Yes. Tell me about that title. Where did that inspiration come from? Well, um, a lot of the album was inspired by, you know, the last couple of years with the pandemic. And, you know, I, kind of, I ran out of tears to cry about things, you know, and it was like, we've got to start laughing about this instead. So, but it also comes from a joke where, that I tell that I say, I ran out of my antidepressants the other day, so I just started drinking Johnson & Johnson's No More Tears champagne <laughs> as a mother i experience a lot of johnson and johnson's no more tears and i can't tell you they still cry oh, if it gets in their eye <laughs> it does right. not feel good and also you know maybe no more tears but i like those happy tears and yes sometimes if those you are get okay me to laugh so hard that I'm crying, that's a good comedian right there. It, it, do you gauge your own success on that? Like, if you have people in the audience in stitches, like, crying, do you want them, like, full-blown belly laugh, unable to control themselves? I want them silent through my entire life. <laughs> they don't want them to make any noise. Whatsoever. No, I, I want them to just be raucous and no covering of your mouth. I earn that laugh, okay? Let me let it out and let me have it. Yeah. I like that. Now, uh, you are in, uh, you were, you're a hospice nurse practitioner, so how do you balance balance like sadness with laughs uh, you know that's a big part of how I cope with the stress of my job is um, getting to laugh and making other people laugh I think laughter is very healing um, and there are funny situations uh, you know there's humor to be found in every situation even at a funeral um, so if you can if you can find that humor you'll you'll make it through that day now do you kind of like practice, well not practice, but in that stage of somebody's life, do you get responses? Do, do you brighten their day and how does that help them, I guess, in that time? Yeah, um, they're not usually up for a lot of chuckles and ha-has. Uh, so <laughs> I don't usually tell them a lot of jokes, but you know I do try to be kind, warming, and, uh, and, and um, bring, bring a lightness to our conversations when I can. And you live in Indy right now. What do you yeah. think of Indy, and, and what do you think of the types of crowds that come from Indiana? Do you have any Indiana-specific jokes that you do? Oh, certainly, yes. Uh, I, I love Indiana. I mean, it's a, it's a great place. Indianapolis is a terrific city. There's so much going on, but without a lot of the um, kind of hassle of some of the other larger cities. Um, and then we get great crowds coming in, you know, from the suburbs and out of town, um, which is fun, too. Some of the best shows I've had have been in small rural towns in Indiana. Indiana, where there's literally only a family dollar, a gas station, and a bar. Um, and, and a basketball. Yes, yes, they do have an outdoor basketball hoop, yes. I love it. Well, thank you so much for being here. Gwen Sunkel appearing at Five's Tap House in Anderson, Indiana, this Friday, December 30th. Viewers can head to allindiana.tv to find tickets. Gwen, thank you again. Thank you are you. an absolute joy, and I am excited to hopefully see one of your shows. And Please maybe, come on out. I'll have, yeah. to, I'll have to buy some tickets. And best of luck as well. Thank you.